Uh, would like us in the pocket, over. Alright, gentlemen, in the pocket, got a little time, it's that going on. Love trains? Be sure to sign up for your free account on TracksideMotorRoading.com. Sounds like plans have changed for this crew due to the overall length of the train. Dispatch has them on track one now, and they get orders just as they pull into the yard lead. We offer three versions of our magazine. The free edition that is an online only version. The premium edition with lots of full page images and a downloadable PDF format. And our DVD series that is intended for your television that includes even more content. Our DVDs have a typical runtime of 80 minutes or more each month. On the road leading into the yard, we set up to see the grain train as it makes its way past the car shop. A lot of wheel and brake jobs are performed here from bad orders that come off the Stampede Pass in the Cascade Mountains just to the west of us. Back at the yard lead and crossover plant near Yakima Food and Cold Storage, we see a Washington Central train as it pulls up to the control plant. We arrive at the cargo facility, and the first thing we notice is the sound of the solar yard jeep and running, making the push into the arrival tracks. The hoghead is really working her to make the shove of the 15 cars, making us think the jeep needs another unit to assist the movement of these hoppers. We catch one last shot of the Washington Central as it passes the BN Yard office here in Yakima, Washington. Buying DVDs in the premium edition helps us to visit these great layouts to share with our readers and starts as low as a dollar per month. If you would like to support us, come visit us at www.tracksidemotorrailroading.com. Thanks for taking along for our rail fanning day here in Yakima, Washington. Again, if you like model railroading, be sure to click the subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when we upload new content.